اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم وعلم آدم الاسماء کلها ثم عرضهم على الملائكة فقال انبئوني باسماءها اولاء ان كنتم صادقين and he taught adam all the names then he put the objects of these names before the angels and said tell me the names of these if you are right so let's have a look at the um, split word translation wa allama wa and allama he taught wa allama and he taught i e allah taught adama he taught adam alayhi salam and what did he teach adam al asma the names ismun is a name al asma is names plural kullaha kull is all so kullaha will be ha is uh, them referring to the names so this ha is referring to al asma to the names so kullaha means i'm sorry kullaha will mean all of them meaning all of the names thumma then aradahum aradahum arada he presented right so arada he presented aradahum he presented them i e he presented the names aradahum alal malaika he presented the names before allah normally means over but in this context it will mean before the angels in front of the angels alal malaika before the angels faqala so he said fa so qala he said ambeuni ambeuni you tell me so this ni in the end i'll just make some distance between the two this ni in the end is referring to me ambeu you tell right so all of you you tell ambeu ni you tell me tell me what bi asma iha ulai bi asma right? al asma we've just read above asma means names so bi asma with names ha ulai with these names So ambeuni you tell me bi asma iha ulai with these names why because in if kuntum you were sadiqin truthful now let's look at the context uh, translation wa allama adam al asma kullaha wa allama adam and he taught adam all the names al asma kullaha all the names thumma aradahum ala al malaika thumma then aradahum ala al malaika he put the objects of these names before the angels or you can just say ala al thumma aradahum he <coughs> presented them i.e. the the names ala al malaika before the angels faqala and said oh so he said ambeuni ambeuni tell me bi asma'i the names haula'i of these bi asma'i haula'i so we can start again faqala ambeuni bi asma'i haula'i and said tell me the names of these haula'i of these in kuntum if you are sadiqin right or truthful so let's move on to the next verse which is also um, a small verse qalu subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim they said holy art thou no knowledge have we except what thou hast taught us surely thou art the all knowing the wise qalu they said qala he said qalu they said 
what did they say subhana ka subhana holy ka are you so holy are you la ilm ilm is knowledge so la is known la ilm no knowledge lana la is for lana for us la ilm lana no knowledge for us we have no knowledge illa except ma what allamtana allamta you taught right so allamta you taught na us allamta na so this is in the past tense fail mazi allamta you taught na us inna ka surely ka you so by now you're familiar with the with ka like similarly here subhanaka holy are you inna ka surely you anta you al alim the all knowing al hakim the wise so let's look at the context translation again qalu they said subhanaka holy art thou la ilma lana no knowledge lana have we illa except ma allamtana what thou hast taught us right allamtana thou hast taught us illa ma allamtana except what thou hast taught us what you have taught us innaka surely thou surely you antal alimul hakim are the all knowing the wise so the third verse that i have chosen uh, for today is the 34th verse of surah al-baqarah qala ya adamu ambi hum bi asma'ihim falamma amba'ahum bi asma'ihim qala alam aqul lakum inni a'lamu ghaybas samawati wal ard wa a'lamu ma tubduna wa ma kuntum taktumun he said o oh adam tell the name tell them the names and when he had told them the names he said did i not say to you i know the secrets of the heavens and of the earth and i know what you reveal and what you conceal qala he said if you go above qalu they said so qala i allah said ya adamu oh adam so ya is o oh. obvious oh, allah taala is referring to us at adam al islam is saying o oh, adam am be hum yeah, let's break this up am be am be is you tell am be hum you tell them whom them am be hum you tell them tell them what be asma him be with asma names him there with their names okay, so let me just break it down for you again be asma a asma a him right him is there be be is with asma is names be asma a him with their names falamma fa so lamma when falamma so when amba ahum he had told whom them so when he had told them bi asma'ihim again same as this bi asma'ihim with their names qala he said alam did not a um, we studied yesterday as well a is to question something alam did not aqul i say did i not say lakum to you inni surely i inni surely i a'lamu i know ghaib as samawat ghaib is unseen ghaib as samawat unseen of the heavens wal ard and the earth wa a'lamu and i know ma what tubduna what you reveal wa and ma what 
kun tum yu ve, tak tumun yu kunsil. So again, you can see the vowel noon here is indicative of plural. Same as here, tum duna, vowel noon in the end, is pointing out plural. Now let's look at the general translation again. Qala, <clears throat> he said, okay, why Allah said, Ya Adam, O Adam, am behum. I, I hope you can see the um, uh, uh, the mouse moving here. Am behum. Tell them, you tell them their names. Am behum bi asma ihim. Asma ihim, their names. Am behum, you tell whom them. So tell them, you tell them, bi asma ihim, their names. Falamma, falamma, and when. Amba'ahum. Amba'a, he told, he had told, whom them. So when Amba'a, he had told, whom them, bi asma'ihim, their names. Asma'ihim, their names. Falamba, um, falamma, so when Amba'ahum, he had told them, bi asma'ihim, their names, Allah, he said, Alam akul, lakum. Alam did not akul, I say, lakum to you. Inni, surely I, alamu, I know. Raibas samawat, hidden of the heavens, wal earth and the earth. So let's see what the translation here is. Qala, he said, Alam akul lakum. Did I not say to you, Inni a'lamu ghaibas samawati wal ard. I know the secrets of the heavens and of the earth. Ghaib means unseen, but it means the secrets, things that we cannot understand or we cannot see. Wa a'lamu. And a'lamu, I know. Ma what? Tubduna, you reveal. Wama kuntum taktumun, and what you conceal. This kuntum is in the past tense. But in the context, you can see it says, and what you conceal. So Allah is saying that uh, He is pointing out the fact that the unseen remains with Allah the Almighty. So He's telling. He is explaining that did I not say to you that I know the secrets of the heavens and of the earth and I know what you reveal and what you conceal, what you hide. Right, so these were the three verses that I am uh, chose for you today. So let's quickly go through them again. Wa'allama Adama. Wa'allama and he taught Adam al-asma'a the names. Kullaha, kul, kul is all, kullaha, all of them. Thumma, then, arada hum, arada, he presented hum, them, alal malaika, before al malaik, the angels. Faqala, so he said, ambeuni, you tell ni, me. Ambeuni, you tell me. Bi asma'i with names. Okay, same as this, al asma names with names ha ula'i these. So ambeuni bi asma'i ha ula'i tell me these names. In kuntum if you were sadiqin truthful. Qalu they said subhanaka subhan pure holy ka are you. Subhanaka. La ilma, no knowledge. Lana for us. No knowledge for us. La ilma lana, no knowledge for us. Illa, except. Ma what? Alamta, you taught. Alamta, you taught na us. Alamta na, you taught us. Innaka, surely you. Anta, you again. Al alim. The all-knowing, Al-Hakim, the wise.
Qala. He said, Ya Adam, O Adam, Ambehum. So in these three verses, you would have seen many variations of the word Ambehum or Falamma Amba'ahum. So there's different variations. Qala, he said, Ya Adam, O Adam, Ambehum. You tell whom them. Right? You tell them. Tell them what? Bi asma him. Him there. Their names. Tell them their names. Falamma fa so lamma when ambaahum. Ambaa he had told whom them. So when falamma ambaahum. So when he had told them bi asma him their names him there with their names their names qala he said a lam did not a did not akul i say right so akul this has a connotation of instruction within it but right? so allah is telling them did i not say right almost telling them that you should have followed what i told you alam akul did i not say lakum to you Inni, surely I. Inna, if you remember, um, we've studied it many, many times. But so, inna ka, the plural of inna ka is inna kum, surely you all. Then there's inna who, surely he. And then the plural of that is inna whom. Right? So, let's see if anybody else. Right, surely they no. So inni surely I inna ka surely you inna kum surely you all inna hu surely he inna hum surely they. So you've answered for for this inna hum surely they. So this is um, uh, just to give you an idea. Inni surely I alamu I know. What do I know? Ghaib, unseen. As samawat of the heavens. Inni a'lamu ghaib as samawat. Surely I know the unseen, the secrets of the heavens, wal ard and the earth. Wa a'lamu, and I know. Ma tubduna, what you reveal. Wa ma, and what kuntum taktumun. You could say what you were concealing, or what you conceal. Okay. So I'm just going to take you to the. Um, uh, Five volume commentary again, just to go through some some important words that have been pointed out. So asma names. This is the plural of ismun. If if in Arabic you say ma ismuka, that will mean what is your name? Ka is you, yo. Ism name. Ma what? Ma ismuka, what is your name? Right. So ism means one, the name of a thing i.e. a word fixed for a thing or attribute for the purpose of distinction. Two, a mark or sign of a thing. Three, fame or reputation of a person or thing. Number four, a word, its meanings and combinations. And sadiqin, truthful, is the plural of sadiq. Sadiq is the truthful one. As you, I'm sure you're all familiar, the Prophet وسلم, was referred to as a sadiq, the truthful one. This is derived from sadaqa, right? So sadaqa means, sadaqta means you are speaking the truth, right? The ta in the end is referring to you. Sadaqta, you are speaking the truth, not a lie. Two, what you say is right, not wrong. It is in the latter sense that the word has been used in the present verse, right? So in this sense, what you say is right, not wrong. You're speaking the truth, not a lie. So you can see, sadiq, this is uh, the, the root meaning of the word. Then we go to the next verse that we've studied today, the 33rd. Uh, 33rd, right, yes. Subhanaka, the word subhan is the infinitive of sabaha. And we've studied this in the past as well. And the last verse that we've studied today, taktumun, you conceal. This is derived from katama, which means he concealed. Katama shay, 
شيء um, you're all familiar كل شيء شيء means thing so كتم شيء he concealed or suppressed the thing right so كتم means to conceal to hide something right. so um, uh, right where is it أمبئوني فقال and he said أمبئوني tell me right so tell me you tell me I I all of you Tell me, Ambeuni. So let's look at this uh, word Ambeuni. You tell me, right? You all tell me, me. You tell me. The next one was uh, Amba Ahum. Amba Ahum. He had told them, whom them. And the other word was Ambe Hum. You tell them, Ambe. Ambe Hum. You tell whom them. So these were the three variations that we studied. It just goes to show how uh, varied the Arabic language is. And you can take many, many different forms and different shapes. And the meanings can change drastically. Um, so Jazakumullah, um, we will end the class here for today. So we will meet next Wednesday again, inshallah, on uh, at 6 p.m. Um, and if I can only again... Highly recommend that you read the Quran with translation. Try to translate a bit yourself where you can. And this way, inshallah, you will be improving very, very fast. Uh, so inshallah, I will see you all next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.